Hey guys, what's up? It's Charlie here and today we're going to be looking at 14 secret combinations on your keyboard. We all use our computer keyboards for typing, but did you know there are many secret combinations which will change your life? I have secret combinations for Windows and Mac keyboards, but before I make your life easier, why not subscribe and press the notification bell too. Coming in at number 14, we have Restore Words and Sentences. If you accidentally delete a letter from your Word document, it's no biggie. But have you ever accidentally deleted a piece of text, whether it be a word or sentence? Well, instead of retyping it all, you can use this combination to bring the word or sentence back. If you press Alt and Backspace, it will bring back the last deleted sentence or word. This saves you so much time as it means you won't have to type everything again. Next up is Reopen Last Closed Tab. Have you ever accidentally closed a tab on your browser? We've all been there and it can be very annoying if it's hard to find that website again. Well, instead of spending the time searching for that very same page or website, simply use this keyboard combination. If you press Ctrl, Shift and the letter T all at once, it will open the last closed tab. This is super handy if you accidentally close a tab you didn't mean to close. And if you were doing work on that tab, it will even save all of that work. That's because this command brings up the cached version of the page. This means it's the last saved version of that page, making your life way easier. Next up is Log Off. We all know the steps to log off your computer, but it's quite time consuming and involves a lot of clicking and mouse movements. Well, this keyboard combination is great for privacy as it logs you off instantly. Let's say you're looking at something and you don't want someone to see and they walk past. You can simply use this keyboard combination to log yourself right off. All you have to do is press the Win key and the letter L. This instantly logs you off and you can just type in your password to log yourself back on. Next up we have private browsing. So on the subject of privacy, what could be more handy than private browsing? You can usually access this by going to File, New Private Browsing Window. But this quick and easy keyboard combination opens a private browsing window. All you need to do is hold down Control, Shift and the letter N. Doing this instantly opens up a private browsing window which can be great if you don't want people to know what you're up to. Private browsing blocks things like web history and cache. This means there's no way to trace back to what you were doing. So whether it's buying a loved one a surprise gift or doing something else if you know what I mean, this is a very handy keyboard combination. Next up on the list we have Force Close. Have you ever tried to close a program that was glitching out but it wouldn't close? Maybe it said the program wasn't responding and couldn't close. Well if you use this keyboard combination it will force close any program. All you need to do is have the program open and then press Alt F4. Or if you have many windows of the same program, it will close the window that you're on. This is really handy if someone walks by your computer and you don't want them to see what you've been doing. You can quickly close whatever you're looking at in a matter of seconds. Next up is Seal Windows. If you're a multitasker, you likely have at least 3 to 4 windows open on your computer. Did you know the average person at work actually has over 6 things open on their computer at any given time? Sometimes this can get overwhelming and you don't know what you have open and what you have closed. Well, did you know if you hold down Ctrl, Alt and Tab you can see every window you have open right now? And not only that, you can even navigate between them. This is great for anyone who's multitasking, or if you're doing things like writing an essay and need lots of windows and documents open at the same time. It's also great if you're a YouTube addict and want many videos up all at the same time. So guys, remember, when you get overwhelmed by all the windows on your computer, just use Control alt tab Next up, we have Rename. So, we all know that we can rename documents and folders. It's very handy and you can do so by simply going into the folder or document properties and changing the name. But did you know that by pressing just one button, you can rename any file or folder you want? All you have to do is press once on the folder, then press the F2 key and it will allow you to change the name. This will work for any file or folder and you can even change the file type. For example, if you wanted to change a JPEG image to a PNG image. This is such a handy tip and it's literally just one button, so it's so easy easy to remember. Next up is New Folder. If you're anything like me, you have a lot of files on your computer. I won't say what those files are, let's just call them video ideas. But if you want to create a new folder or lots of new folders, you can use this keyboard combination. All you have to do is press Ctrl, Shift and the letter N. This will create a new folder just like that. And now on to the keyboard commands for Mac OS. First off for the Mac keyboard commands, we have Safe Boot. Are you having issues with your Mac computer? If you are, the most logical thing to do is turn it off and on again. 
But did you know that to clean up any problems on your Mac, all you have to do is turn it off and then restart it using SafeBoot. SafeBoot is a way to start up your Mac so it checks for any problems, and then it will repair any issues if necessary. All you have to do to engage SafeBoot is turn on your Mac. Then as soon as you hear the startup tone, press the shift key. Then when the Apple logo appears, simply release the shift key. SafeBoot will then appear on the Mac startup screen and you can check for any errors. You can then continue to your computer as normal and hopefully any errors will be fixed. This actually works for 90% of issues people have with their Macs. So next time you have tech trouble, skip the Genius Store line and use SafeBoot. Next up is Selected Screenshot. We all know that on a Mac you can take a screenshot very easily. All you need to do is press Command, Shift and then number 3. Now that takes a screenshot of the entire screen. But what if you just want one small part of the screen? Well then press Command Shift 4. You can then crop your very own part of your screenshot. This is so handy if you want to share something small and not the entire screen. So next time you need to share something small on your screen with someone else, just use Command Shift 4. And finally the last Mac keyboard combination we have is Force Quit. If you have a program that's not responding on your Mac and you can't close it, you can use this to close it forcefully. Nothing will get in the way of force quit, even that annoying beach ball that sometimes comes up when something's loading. All you have to do is press Command Alt Escape. This will bring up force quit and you can force quit as many programs as you want. This is super handy when things aren't responding or if your computer's being slow. Alright guys, those were the 14 most genius secret keyboard combinations for Mac and PC. Be sure to check out the poll in the top right corner to vote for the most useful keyboard combination. And if your option's not on there, then be sure to comment it below. If you guys want more amazing videos and life hacks and tips, then check out my second channel. I've got a bunch of crafts and life hacks and they'll be on screen in a moment. But as always, thanks for watching. Check out some more videos on screen right now. Leave a like if you enjoyed it and if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to Top 10s.